So the Dragon Ball Super official website has updated with an interview from the goddess herself, the voice of Goku, Masako Nozawa. This is supposed to be the final voice actor interview uh, about the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, but there's some really, really interesting tidbits in this interview that I didn't even know. I had no idea about, so we're going to go through it right here and talk about it. Essentially, one of the things that she talks about is that she talks about how Bardock and Goku Black are popular characters, but she still likes regular Goku the best, the original Goku. She said she points out that Goku Black is popular with female fans, but while playing Goku Black, she never wanted to see someone with Goku's face be so evil. So that's kind of a cool, you know, statement that she made there. Um, but it's interesting because I never knew what she's talking about that Black is popular with female fans. I didn't, you know. Obviously, she's talking about Japanese female fans. I didn't know the demographics in Japan really liked the uh, Goku Black story. Now, uh, she talks about also Turles, or Tullus, as they say. Um, she was hoping that Bardock would be a bit more loving, so all the people out there who, lo who love Dragon Ball Z, ep uh, uh, Bardock special Bardock, the, the original Japanese version, they might not like that comment because he wasn't very loving, but there's also fans out there that love Bardock uh, as far as, um, you know, when it comes to... The new Bardock as well. And I think with Dragon Ball Super Broly, like I said, there are spoilers out for the movie, but I have not seen the movie as of this video. Uh, so, I don't know how it actually plays out, but it seems like with the movie, they're going to kind of bridge everything and make it so that Bardock is still like a tough guy, but he still kind of cares about Kakarot, which is what they did in Minus. So, he's going to care about his son like he did in Minus, but he's still going to be that tough badass. And I can't wait to see that because we now know for sure that... You know, he's going to confront Frieza. Um, and then she talks about how, you know, he's a Saiyan. So, you know, what are you going to do? And they talk about how um, the uh, the recording sessions for this interview was actually done when she was doing the Bardock scenes. She talks about how she he, he tried, she tried to make Bardock more cold, which actually Sonny Strait, who plays Bardock in the dub, does the same thing. He tries to make Bardock be more cold, more, uh, you know, callous. Uh, not like happy-go-lucky like Goku. You know, Goku, hey guys, you know, very happy. Bardock is very serious. He's a serious Goku. Not an evil Goku, but a serious Goku. Remember, evil Goku is like cocky and arrogant Zamasu. Bardock is just basically, she does the Goku voice, but just, you know, very serious. Um, and uh, she, they talk about how Bardock's wife, Gine, is played by Chi-Chi's voice actress, Naoko Watanabe. And that's freaking cool because... I had no idea that Naoko Watanabe, the wife of Goku, plays the wife of Goku's dad. I love, love, love that. Um, they talk about how um, before they started shooting the movie, that the director Nagamine gave Nozawa like this detailed sort of sheet uh, talking about why Broly's different now as opposed to how he used to be. And, you know, it's, she talks about how Going against Broly now is different, but Goku gets emotional as he fights, and thus her emotions go up during the battle scenes. And I, I've got that. I mean, that's obvious, but it's pretty cool. She talks about how when she first read the script, that she was a little bit annoyed at how much Goku gets beat up in the movie, which is a little bit of a spoiler, but you knew it was coming. It's a Broly movie. I we know now with the spoilers that he really gets beat up. He gets he gets bruised up in this film. Um, but she always has faith in Goku that he'll always win at the end. He'll always triumph. And she talks about how she didn't really prepare too much for the recording. Um, everyone always talks about how great her vocal cords are, how good a performer she is. But she's never, and she never had any problems with it. So pretty much she talks about how the long battle scenes are enjoyable to record. And that's pretty freaking cool because... And there's a lot of stuff here, by the way, guys. We're going to go through a lot of it here. But I'm trying to keep it going pretty quickly. Um... You know, she does like recording battle scenes and blowing out her throat, but she can do it. She can do it, you know. Sean Schemmel talked about this at New York Comic Con. He's like, he asked her, you know, how do you how do you keep your voice good? She's like, I'm Super Saiyan. I can do what I want. Like, that was a cool response by her. She's like, oh, I'm a, I'm a Super Saiyan. That was cool. Or Super Saiyajin. So Nozawa talks about how this is the 20th Dragon Ball movie, and she actually loves Dragon Ball from start to finish. She had a lot of fun playing Goku as he journeys from childhood to adulthood, fighting all sorts of enemies along the way. And she talks about how the movie... Uh, starts out very differently, which the spores already gave away. It's a lot of flashback stuff with Frieza instead of Goku. And she talks about how the movie starts, it does start action-packed and then gets to the current stuff, which we already discussed shouldn't be a thing there. Um, but she was talking about how much of a page-turner that script was and that she couldn't, um, you know, stop. So this is the final 
voice actor interview on here. There might be a couple more interviews with other staff members, but this is the last one, of course, Nozawa being the main event. She is, of course, Goku. Um, but I found her tidbits to be very, very, very interesting. So just reporting that to you guys. Thanks to, for, to Jake Herms for translating this for me. And, uh, yeah, I cannot wait to see the movie and see her performance. I'm going to go see it in L.A. It will be the first time that I see a Dragon Ball Z movie in years dubbed first. I always watch the sub version first and then watch the dub. In this case, I don't have the Japanese version, at least not right now, so I'm probably going to see the, the dub first, then the sub. Anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out the video, and I will be back very soon. Love y'all. Talk to you later.